Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora for a strong heart today. Cholesterol is a soft, fatty substance in the blood which plays an important role in cell membranes and hormones. Too much of a good thing can be bad and chronic high cholesterol levels can lead to a heart attack or a stroke. Bridget, I'm so glad you're here because I've been researching cholesterol and trying to figure out why there's so much bread and why there are so many apples in the kitchen and how it links to cholesterol. Okay, to do that, I think we should start with the basics. I know that firstly we need to clear up that there are different types of cholesterol. What are they? Well, you're absolutely right, Lisa. There are two types of cholesterol, your HDL and your LDL. Now, an easy way to remember the difference between the two is that your HDL cholesterol is your healthy cholesterol or your good cholesterol. Your LDL cholesterol is your lousy cholesterol or your bad cholesterol. And now what we want to do is increase that HDL and decrease that LDL cholesterol. So that's where plant sterols can have a big impact. So what are plant sterols? Plant sterols are natural ingredients and they're found in our plant foods. So they're found in vegetable oils, they're found in fruit and vegetables, in nuts, in seeds, and in cereals. And they actually inhibit the absorption of cholesterol. And it's found in lots of research that by taking two grams of plant cereals a day, you can actually decrease your cholesterol. I'm intrigued to know why there are so many slices of bread on the table. I mean, are you planning to make some huge, big sandwich? Not quite, Lisa. Here you have 70 slices of whole wheat bread. And that means that if you wanted to take the two grams of plant cereals to actually decrease your cholesterol, you'd need to eat all 70 slices. And no one is going to do that. It is, but I did mention fruit as well. Yeah. And so we could look at something like apples. Definitely. Now, I would rather eat a whole bunch of apples than eat so much bread. This is a lot of apples. Is this how many I need to eat in one day to get my daily dose of plant sterols? You're absolutely right, Lisa. It is a lot of apples. And it is the amount you're going to need to eat to get your two grams plant sterols. You're going to have to eat 150 apples a day. The other option you can do is eat 425 tomatoes or 210 <laughs> carrots if you prefer. Just like that. <laughs> In one day? In one day. Okay, well that is an impossibility. So what else do you have up your sleeve? I've got an easy solution that you can lower your cholesterol with. Ah, a solution in a tub. Yes. Lisa, this is called Flora Proactive. Mm -hmm. And in fact, at 25 grams of Flora Proactive, you get two grams of plant sterols, which lower your cholesterol. Flora's just come out with a new 21 day pack. It's 21 days because by using 25 grams a day, you'll lower your cholesterol by 15% when incorporating it to a healthy diet and lifestyle. So let's say you're not a big bread eater or you can't eat bread. How would you then get your 25 grams in per day? Because that's equivalent to five teaspoons of margarine. It's a lot of margarine. That's one of the barriers we find people saying is that I don't need bread so I therefore can't use flora proactive. But there are other ways to use it. You can add it to your oats, for example. So you take a teaspoon, you stir it into your oats and let it melt in. Or adding it to your sauces, your soups, if you take pasta and you melt it into your pasta before you eat it. I do want to point out one thing though. Flora Proactive is for you, for you to lower your cholesterol. So it's important when you're cooking to take your individual portion and then add your Proactive. Because this ensures that you're getting the right amount of plant sterols to effectively lower your cholesterol. So Bridget, let's recap. Cholesterol in a nutshell. But what's important is to go for regular screening for your cholesterol. And if you have a significant problem, go to your medical doctor. They'll then advise you as to what you should do. So as important as floral practice is and how it can lower your cholesterol, it's still very important to be eating healthily and to exercise daily. Now you're speaking my language. Cholesterol is not something to be scared of. Knowing your numbers, regular exercise and a healthy balanced diet together with Flora Proactive can make your heart happy and healthy. Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora for a strong heart today.